If you like to fish, you want healthy fisheries. Part of that involves giving fish good habitats. We spent the morning with the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation deploying artificial fish habitats at Twin Lakes in Shawnee, Oklahoma. We saw the habitat design, how they are deployed, and learned about how they provide fish with shelter, cover, shade, and food. We also learned how the project is funded and the impact of $5 and $10 donations. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video so you can find out how you can help. First, let's look at the design. So this is the Shelbyville design of a cube. We came from Shelbyville, Illinois. There's a, a, a lake association alliance up there that builds a bunch of these. I think they put in something like a thousand of these in one of their lakes over the course of several years. So this came from them. We didn't want to reinvent the wheel and try to figure out really good uh, designs. So we, we kind of went over their design for this go around and it works out really well for us. Um, it's about a, a four foot by four foot and five foot tall. Uh, the bottom square down here is made out of the PVC and it has either gravel or sand in it. And uh, this bottom run of corrugated tubing has uh, three bricks on each side. And that's the weight that uh, sinks it. So what's nice with this design is you can toss it off the boat and it'll self ride itself and sink down to the bottom. On the very bottom we have construction fence uh, or snow fence, some people call it both. And we have that zip tied on. That helps keep it from sinking in the, the bottom substrate if it's real silty or murky. Uh, uh, muddy it will just sit on top without having to sink too far and then all of these are uh, it's a crisscross pattern what you're looking for is is to provide a, a number of there's a lot of interstitial space in here that allows for fish to kind of hide and, and gravitate towards structure and things like that and then uh, you've got these that will provide shade during the summertime which uh, crappie and fish like to have that shade cover when it gets really hot so Anyways, and then the bottom, you can tell that it has these spacers here, so it provides space at the bottom for fish to get in, and uh, it's a little bit more cover up top, so they can kind of shift between where they'd like to be, um, and then you still have that shade cover up top by having this here, and then space down the bottom for them to, to get in. But to build it, we have these runners here on each side, and then just a crisscross pattern uh, through the center. So there's about, let's see, Two, three, about five different lengths of tubes you cut, and uh, you just put them on uh, straight across on the sides, and then crisscross a few through the center. Here, how do you move these from point yep. A to point B? So these are actually part of the design that makes it easy for deployment. So the bottom rail, bottom square on the on the cube, is filled with sand and gravel, and then uh, the bottom run of corrugated pipe has bricks in it and so and then there's holes in the top so air can get out when water water comes in air comes out and as you push it off uh they self right themselves so they slide pretty easy so to deploy it you'll just push it right off the side of the boat no matter how it lands in the water it'll self right itself and then sink right there um, and then the, the netting on the bottom the construction fence on the bottom is to uh, help prevent it from silting in sinking in the, not too far if the, if the substrate's too uh, silky or mud or something like that. I don't think here it's it's not too bad with any of them, but I, some place I don't think. But yeah, deployment's actually pretty easy. That's probably the easiest part of this process here, deploying them. Yeah, I actually did think about putting them in, but then I was thinking, how will it break? Yep, yep, and that's where the uh, gravel is seen at the bottom. It uh, makes it self right Right that's a good idea. But... And you don't have to tie blocks onto it like a lot of other structures. Um, as long as you're not putting an area that's a lot of wave action or current or anything like that, it should sit pretty much where you got. We're going to put out, oh, probably, probably five around this dock here. Um, I like to do for this artificial stuff, I like to start out getting areas where bank anglers can locate them and fish them. And then as we do this throughout the years, we'll just kind of spread out and get some other areas. But uh, the bank anglers are a little bit more limited to where they can fish compared to the, the boat anglers. So, And this is a fishing dock. A lot of people utilize it. So we're going to try to put stuff down here. And, yeah. 
let them catch some fish off of you. Deploying them Those was lots of fun. Spread the word. Spread the word and you'll be fine catching some fish. Oh, yeah. Well, thank y'all. You're welcome. That's pretty fun, huh, buddy? Yeah. Whenever you're ready, go for it. Oh, nice. Now we got a whole thing. What's cool about this program, the statewide program, is most of that $10,000 donation came from five and $10 donation uh, from individual anglers. So when anglers were online buying a fishing license, we have a little section that pops up and asks if you'd like to donate for uh, Fish Habitat, and it'll take you there, and you can do $5 donation, $10 donation, um, and, and so forth. But uh, most of that $10,000 donation we're able to reach our goal by five dollar and ten dollar uh, uh, donations. And for people who already have their fishing license that may want to donate, you can uh, you can still go on our website at the same place you bought your fishing license. There's a spot for donations, there's a, and there's several different types of donations you can do. But if you're wanting gear market just for habitat, make sure you click on the uh, habitat section under the donation page, and that's where you can donate for this. And then also keep in mind that uh, if you're looking for these locations, everywhere that we put structures in our lakes across the state is on our Fish Attractor website, which you can find on the wildlifedepartment.com. If you click on the fishing tab and then where to fish, there'll be a button there that says Fish Attractors. Click on that, it'll pop up a map of the state of Oklahoma. You can see everywhere these things have been across the entire state, uh, including our brush piles and other structures we put out. You can click on the uh, locations, it'll give you GPS coordinates, it'll tell you what type of structure. Um, there's even a spot where you can download all of the coordinates on an Excel file and then load it to your graph on your boat if you'd like to go that route as well. So be sure to check that out if you're looking for these, uh, these areas. There, there they are. Oh, there see that cube right there? I can see those two, yeah. Yeah, it is both of them. You got one right there and then one right there. That's really cool. You ready? These structures, or any any structures you put in the water, what you're kind of looking for is that periphyton to grow on there. And that periphyton attracts the plankton and insects. Um, that's the basis of your food chain for your fish species. So as, uh, as that's uh, growing on there, the periphyton's growing on there, it's attracting those plankton and insects, which attracts your bait fish and and also attracts the, the predators that are uh, foraging on those bait fish. So um, you have them coming there because there is food a source available and that's part of the reason they're coming. But also the other component to it is the structure itself uh, for, uh, you know, crappie like to, to hang out around structure. Bass will hang out around the logs and things like that and they'll go to it for structure. And then also the shade cover uh, during the summertime. So, so we got spot to hide we got some shade we got some food sources yes so all of those yeah, things so all are... those combined yep all right. check out the video description for donation and location links
Thanks for supporting Oklahoma Fisheries. Adventure!